After doing a bit of mountain bike riding, I thought I'd try an exciting new adventure sport, mountain bike orienteering. I brought along a friend, Jim, one of Australia's most experienced orienteers. So Jim, I guess my first question is, do I need to go normal foot orienteering before I come mountain bike orienteering? Not at all, Ben. Most uh, mountain bikers, mountain bike orienteers come from a mountain bike background or an adventure sport background. It's a um, it's not as uh, complicated, it's not as uh, tricky out there as a normal orienteering event and we use a much more simplified map. Oh, so what's the difference between mountain bike orienteering and a normal mountain bike race then? Very little. The, uh, the, the big difference is your map, but you've still got your forest and, you st and we use a simplified map which basically just shows tracks. You've got to choose which track that you want to use to get to the control points that we've got out in the forest. And so what's this you have on your bike? This is a map board which I put my map in so I can read it at all times and I just rotate it as I go around the course. Ah, oh, so you always keep it in the right direction. Exactly, I use a compass here and it'll point north and I just keep the map rotated in the northerly direction. You don't happen to have a spare one for me, do you? I do have a spare one here, Ben. You can have the title of this one today. Oh, that's great. I'll go attach it to my bike. Thanks, Jim. Thank you. Mountain bike orienteering is done individually, like a time trial. Competitors have to navigate to controls in a set order. On an orienteering course, you need to prove you've been to each control in the right order. So for this event, we're using electronic punching. I have a SI stick attached to my mountain bike using an elastic cord. This will record my time. On my map board, I've also got a compass so that when I turn the map around, I can always make sure it's orientated in the right direction, just like I would with foot orienteering. I've chosen to do a medium length course today, which will provide both a physical and navigational challenge. I'm looking forward to getting a good look at the map and planning my first route. 